today we're going to be talking about uh, and showing you the process of doing a shower pan and how I do mine. Um, the whole thing from prep all the way to tile. So today we're going to get our uh, pre-slope done, uh, get the floor clean, prepped, and then pour our self-leveler and pre-slope it, pour it at a thicker consistency. Um, and what that's going to do is create a again a pre-slope so when the membrane goes on top of it and we seal it into our drain it um, it's gonna drain when the running water comes through the mortar bed so let me show you right here is the top of where any water would start going in the drain because this comes up undone here so what we're gonna do is run self leveler from here all the way up to about middle to three quarter way up the stud. And what that's going to do is give us enough pre-slope to uh, allow for any water that comes through the mortar bed to drain out into here. And then any other water on the tile obviously is going to have slope from the mortar pan and it's going to slope down to the drain. So it's going to have two points of drain drainage if you want to call it that way and it's a it's a perfect system never leaks it'll never leak ever um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today show you guys step by step and um, um, get vacuuming and get ready to pour this concrete
it's done. <clears throat> That'll all smooth out a little bit, but add your pre-slope and put that membrane in and we'll be good to go. We'll wait by probably tomorrow. We'll come back and put in our membrane and our shower mud. We'll put it all in at the same time and um, show you guys how to do that. It's the next step. So I'll see you then. All right, everyone. So the next step is going to be putting the liner membrane down. We got the uh, pre-slope already done. It's got about a almost a half inch of fall on it to the drain. So we got a pretty thick membrane. I'm not even sure the millimeters of the thickness of this thing, but uh, it's a uh, nine by six, and we got a four by seven and a half shower. So we got plenty of room to come up the walls and plenty safe and uh so we're gonna do that and um let's get started okay everyone first thing we're gonna want to do is pull off our drain plate here whatever you want to call it flange it's a um what is it nine seven sixteenths comes off Dust it off a little bit here. Oops. Make sure we're good. Kind of set it, actually, where is it? Over here. All right. Oh, yeah. Throw her down, roll her out. Pretty simple. make sure your whole surface is prepped you know really clean so you ain't got no debris or anything in the way you know obviously so On this side, let's get it over a little bit, even and out. I got about 10 inches, almost 12 inches there. It's plenty. <clears throat> got about 8 to 10, that's plenty there. Got about a foot on this side, which is more than enough. Same thing over here. We are ready to go. So, first thing I like to do is start on one side and work my way over, get my roof and nails. Now what I won't do is I will not put nails at least six inches down. So what I'll do is tuck it real tight, put a nail up here. Light is bright, man. Get it in here a little bit. <clears throat> what you don't want is when you're packing this mud to be like sticking up, so. When you're putting pressure down on the weight of the pan, it's just picking the mud up and down. And then what that'll do is end up cracking your shower pan. You don't want that. So you'll make sure there's you know, plenty of room down here before you tack it up. Now what I do is I put all mine in one side, so I have to tuck mine into a wall. What I'm gonna do here, kind of is like a situation I just kind of figure out as I go, you know? Um, but normally, 
what I'll do, come here, tack this. Um, okay, so really I determined the situation, to be honest with you. So this one, I think we're gonna tuck it into this wall. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, again, tack up our membrane. And you know what I like to do is wherever I have to tuck it in because it's going to push out your hardy backer a little bit wherever that's at I like to match it on the other side so um, I'll show you here in a second so it's on this side I want to do it on this side as well that way when i put the hardy backer here it's all one bump out instead of like halfway bumped out and it ain't much it's like a 16th but you still got it you know account for all that when you're doing your mud and everything else so it's a little trick for you help you get your job done a little better okay What you can even do with that. I got quite a mess going on around here. We're not only doing a shower, we're doing a whole remodel. We uh, took out a bunch of stuff here. It's a whole, whole deal. As you guys know with this channel, we don't just do showers. I mean, normally I wouldn't do this shower. I got other, so much other stuff going on, but I am. Throw a little piece of duct tape. Right there. And you're good, man. It is set. Perfecto, yeah? Oh, yeah. This will never leak in a million years right here. Until this rubber fails. And this rubber's lifetime. You know, rubber's as it's as a material it's just this this kind of i'm not even sure exactly the material on this but i just know you know it's just durable as it gets and um never gonna have to worry about it ever occurring the leak that is difficult one <clears throat> being a little stinker to it was get this in there so it fits in that stud ideally um, what you want <clears throat> plus you got to have your you know, you can't stop that room up from um, from your uh, your corners. You know, make sure those corners flow free and good. And actually, looking at that corner, it should be good. But I'm gonna double check. have to keep it like that it's fine it's no 
big deal. Yeah, we're good. All this hardy backer goes on you know this curb it'll get taped um, or caulked on this outside corner on the inside corner everything will be sealed up and then when we put our blue guard in our our hydro guard um, you know all of this is gonna be sealed I'm gonna be sealing this all the way up probably about two feet and then um, I'm gonna be doing the seams I might just do the whole thing I don't know it depends and we've got our membrane down, it's ready to go. We're gonna cut the drain in. Now this is a very delicate process and you can't mess it up. So once you mess this up, you might as well just get a new liner. So I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. And I'm gonna look for the holes. This hole is here. I'm gonna punch a little spot there. Okay, get my hole started is what I'm gonna do. All right, now I'm gonna come here, find the edge. I wanna go a little bit away from the edge there, away from the edge here. And I wanna sandwich this puppy in here real good. Um, first I'm gonna put this bolt in, okay. just press it in really nice just like that actually it's a little too tight so we're gonna come here and cut it just a little bit more a little bit more and that way you've got no holes anywhere else it's all clear and you're ready. Go here, go here, go here. Okay, now that that fits, pull it out. Get all your holes started, your bolts started. Tighten it up like that. Voila. And there you go. Done. If you want to, you can cut that off a little bit. Careful, don't cut yourself. Boy, it's sealed all the way around in just these holes. And um, so with that, you know, any water coming in here, I'm gonna tuck all this back into our corners. 
but any water that's coming in here it's gonna drain out because i got a good half inch of slope here um and whatever doesn't um go through the concrete you know it's gonna come off the tile so grab our drain and come on fit in there boy set that's it guys for the liner set the, the membrane i mean next is the mud all right we got 209 floor mud by laticrete stuff's awesome love it we're just gonna start mixing you know like anything else put a little water in here They're nice and wet. That's how we like it. And dump in about a half a bag. Okay. Mix her up. Got a big old paddle bit. I don't even know what you call it. It's best because it gets in there and mixes everything around. That's what you want, by the way. But I just made a mistake, rookie mistake, and you need to have that bit inside all the way with this dry stuff. So, for it in order to mix, if not, it just packs to the bottom. So what we're gonna do is just go in there and dump it out and start again. It's no big deal. Um, just take it back out and remix it if we have to. No sweat. All right, got some mud mix. We'll go ahead and get it laid down and flattened out. And what I'm gonna do is gauge whatever this, this is about an inch and a quarter. I'm probably gonna do, some see it's four feet, um, probably like one and a half, one and three quarter of mud. So it's got plenty enough drain. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my corners level and then build my middle up, same thing all the way down. It's just gonna be one level line. So that's what we're gonna do and get done. Just watch the process. This is how we do it. Here we go. I'm setting the drain first, get my points from here to the corners. Always get all your points done first. What we're just gonna do is just pack it in, man. Pack it and screed it off. Pretty simple. Takes some practice, but nothing to it. We're setting this, the whole edge, like I said. We got the, uh, this is level. So this point, that point, that point, it's all level. So once I get all these points level, all the way around, then we can just start filling in the middle and screeding it straight. Pretty simple. So. We continue. Got the first half done, coated over the drain. It's Got about a half inch of fall or so. And uh, we gotta make some more mud, probably about three more or four more buckets and finish her out. bed is completely done finished up got a got it all smoothed out there it's all flowing real nice to the drain it's a big shower right here let me tell you um, made sure the drain swivels because it it doesn't have the, the drain on it but you want to make sure that 
it turns so if you have to raise it up or down to make sure your height for that drain that goes on top of there uh, is perfect with the tile so beware of that and um, the next step is going to be putting uh, plastic over these walls um, just for extra moisture and what we'll do is we'll get the plastic we'll run the plastic and we'll run it over the membrane all the way around and that way if any moisture decides to come uh, get behind the hardy backer then it'll drain out onto the pan and out so it's just an extra um, step to make it foolproof but this mud bed is still wet this is where you're gonna really need to leave it for a good day it takes about four hours to dry so 